our final unboxing in our Bloodborne the board game unboxing series is going to be the Mergo's Loft expansion. The sides have artwork and logos. The rear has a snippet of lore along with the components one can expect to find within. Eight enemy miniatures, one boss miniature, one double-sided map tile, one boss HP card, 10 boss action cards, two enemy cards, and 56 campaign cards. Let's have a look inside. On top is the double-sided map tile. Enemy cards. Campaign cards. and the phase cards. Underneath are the miniatures. First up, the Mergo's attendants with their whips. The detailing on the chainmail is quite good, actually. Even, or especially, for this size of a miniature. A little bit larger but with similar chainmail detail although the back is quite boring and this chain whip doesn't look all that great I'm much more impressed with the smaller variant And finally, the wet nurse. Our final miniature. And it is quite spectacular. The empty face, the numerous arms, the cloak, the feathering of the wings. Quite impressive. And thus concludes our Bloodborne the Board Game unboxing series. 
There have been some spectacular miniatures within these boxes. The One Reborn and Ebertus stand out particularly in my mind. Some were not as good. The Brown Hunters I was not too big of a fan of. But overall, if you're looking for some highly detailed and great paintable miniatures, you could do a lot worse than this game, especially if you're a fan of From Software or Bloodborne. Thanks for watching.